Um, also, this one, yeah, this is going back several months. Um, you may know I had a Kershaw knockout at one point. I very much so regret letting go of it. I really, really do. And so I picked up this one, the olive and black. And then I got a custom titanium pocket clip to match the whole thing. And honestly, I hate the low ride clips on these knockouts. I don't know. I just don't like low ride on a big knife like this. I just love this thing. It's uh, It fit my hand so well. I don't know why I let go of it. Um, but I love this guy. It's quick. It's slim. I, I love the big belly on it. Matches my own. Uh, just a great solid knife. And then again, I said uh, some spider codes. Oh, this one I did make an unbox, or I made a video of the paramilitary two. All right, kind of splurged on that some time ago. Love it. You can kind of see the use there. It's starting to get a little dull on me, and I uh, worked it in. When I first got it, it was super stiff. And now, so we have orange, now we have olive drab, black. So, of course, what's next? Oh, pink, right? I mean, it just goes with the flow of uh, tacticalness. So, yes, this is the pink Bob Lum. Uh, I think it's literally called the Big Lum or something like that. Um, sweet knife. It's got that, obviously, Bob Lum leaf-shaped blade. And Sexy City, Japan it is made in, liner lock. I did kind of polish the, uh, not polish, but sand down the G10. So I don't know if you can see. I don't have the best view of the viewfinder right now. Um, but it's smooth. So it makes it going into the pocket real easy because the clip is pretty tight on this guy. And uh, kind of makes it a little more comfortable in the hand as well. Um, the reason why I got this is for one, it was so cheap. It was 75 bucks on Knife Center. If I remember, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, 75 bucks for a Spyderco Japanese made VG10. Um, if you don't know, oops, that is a great deal for a Spyderco with those um, specifications. And this big of a blade. So the, the new Bob Lum, Lil Lum, or Little Lum, is like 132 bucks, And it's it's so freaking tiny. Um, but I think it has the same materials, if I recall correctly. So I love this thing. Um, my, I think I say um a lot in this video. My, what I plan on doing is, just like I did here, I plan on writ dyeing it with a... Um, I think I used Blaze Red is the color I think I used. And then, anyways, um, dyeing it red because, as I mentioned, I like red. Red and orange, favorite colors. So, okay. Now, that's what's new. Ask me any questions if you have any about those items. Let me set these down real quick. And now let me show you what I have here. This is the unboxing part. Again, don't get too excited, and I apologize for already being on 16 minutes, but hey guys, give me some leeway here. I haven't made a video in months, so again, don't be too excited. I got two Walmart knives. I picked these up. I, mean, I, seriously, I think it was the Christmas season, and I saw Cutlery Lover make a video on these even after I got them. So if you want to kind of date how old these are, look at Cutlery Lover's video uh, on either one of these and then backtrack three weeks or so, and that's when I got these. It's been a while, but I've been holding them aside to wait until I make a video. So here I am. All right, so let's use the Pingo to open these. By the way, this is my AK-47 Tech Mat. Uh, it's like a gun cleaning mat, but I use it as a uh, basically a big old mouse pad. So, not going to edit this video. This is all one shot. 
you're just going to have to deal with it. Okay, let me make sure that is good. A little more down here. That should be good. And then there is pink and teal and teal and it's just, ugh. so I got my one with the pink. This is, I believe, the only metal handle knife that I've seen in this Ozark Trail um, little budget knife. Actually, all their knives are budget knives. Uh, if you haven't seen these, they go for, I think it's like $378. Um, they might vary in price. You might be able to get them for three if they're ever on sale. Uh, they're decent knives. I've had one before. They're decent for the price, and that's about it. Um, so here's the pink one. This is first impressions as well. Okay, well, it it feels cheap. <laughs> it's pretty oily. Decent in the hand, though. Oh, sorry, I don't know if that was on. Decent in the hand. Pretty, uh, if your hand's kind of small to medium, mine's more like a fat medium, then it, it'll fit your hand pretty good. It's uh, kind of chunky. The clip, good tension. Oh, dear God, that is stiff. Oh, wow. Maybe work it in a little bit. And almost. Okay. It's flickable. And it's got zero play. All right. I'll set that aside and I'll do a cut test in just a second. And here, okay. I'm about to, what does it say? This is the clip knife. Okay. This one is the wood flip opening knife. Okay, that's whatever. All right, it, uh, yeah, I guess it is wood. I thought it was my card at first. This one's really light. This one, not medium weight, not too bad. Okay, this one I think feels, I, I'm saying okay a lot too. Feels better I think in my hand. Uh, thin blade, let me see. The pink beats it a little bit. I'm trying not to cut myself. This is a really awkward position. Yeah, that's a little better in my hand. I like the blade shape better. The clip. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my heavens. That is so tight. A little smoother out the gate. Oh, God, it's oily. And let's try the flipper. <laughs> that's with all the pressure building up and then flicking out that's as much as I can do alright let's add some wrist action and we're about 90 degrees let's try it again mm, I don't know what is that One, 110, 120 degrees I'm looking for 180 degrees and it ain't working dear okay oh whoa uh -huh. That might have just been a fluke in the system. Oh, almost. I hit the little D10 ball. Anyways. So. Slight side to side. And I think, if I'm feeling it right, there's a hint of up and down. So, if you ha if I had to choose, I would go with the pink little, oh, where is he? Little pink one. Um, for all the reasons I mentioned. The clip is looser, it's easier to flick, or I mean open, and oh dear, whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, look at the alignment there of the back liner, and then the back scale, it's like totally off. Alright, so that's interesting, let's see how well they are centered, oh actually, hey, not too shabby. And that's a little off to the right. All right. So um, let's see here. I'll probably I actually have a couple of knives already in my car. I don't know what I'll do with these. But I'll find a place for. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Cut test. Cut test. Cut test. Again, I do apologize about this video length. But as I said in the way beginning, 
Um, I'm going to make this super easy to watch with all the time slots. So, All right, so we'll go with pink first. Let me just do a little feel. Doesn't feel too bad. Um, as in it doesn't feel dull, but it also doesn't feel sharp. So let's... Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's hold the paper a little stiffer, maybe. Okay, not bad. A little rough, but better than just tearing chunks off. And not too shabby. Okay. So that was pink. And let me do this crappy little wood thing. Oh, that does not feel good at all. That is like, that is not sharp at all, but we'll see. Well, it cut and then it tore. And we'll try it again. Okay. Well, clearly, I guess I don't know what I'm talking about because at least it's cutting. Let me do more of the tip and more of the tip. Hmm. Not too bad, actually. So, but like I said, these things are barely $4. So you get what you pay for. Um, not too great. But if you're just looking for something to toss into a bag or a random little crappy backup to put in your glove box, hey, you can't go wrong. It's, it's, it's a blade when you need it, right? Um, better to lose four dollars than maybe putting a sixty dollar Kershaw or something nice in your glove box and then little douchey nephew stealing it. Hey, have him steal your four dollar pink knife and you're not gonna care and he's gonna look fabulous. On that note, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> again, it is so good to see you guys again. Well, more like you're seeing me, seeing me but you know what I mean. It's good to be back. I don't know how often I'll make videos, but please hang in there. Um, I did pass 3,000 subscribers at some point. You know, um, in the early days, I was all worried about the numbers, but you know what? It's you got to be consistent, and I'm not. And so, you know what? I I understand, and the number is irrelevant. I just wanted to mention. Thank you for staying in there, you 3,000, and um, new people. If there are any, uh, just just stay with me, all right? All right. With that, I'm ATF, and I'm out.